Hey Soul Family, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Justice Jupiter, for another tarot pick a card reading. So today we have four piles and then the reading for today we're going to be asking Spirit for a message regarding shadow selves, you versus them. So there's going to be four different layers to this aspect. So it's going to get a, a really good feel for how your ego sees you, how your shadow sees you, how your shadow sees them, how your ego sees them how your ego and this connection is currently, how your shadow sees this connection currently, and how your ego sees this connection in the future, and how your shadow sees this connection in the future. And it's going to mirror each other. So there'll be an ego, ego side for you, a shadow side for you, an ego side for them, and a shadow side for them. So uh, first thing first is if, if you if I say you, but you resonate with them, just flip and flop where it fits. If the message doesn't fit at all, maybe check out a different pile that um, there may be your message there for you. If none of it fits for you at all, that's okay too. And um, you just don't make a message fit, just take it where it resonates. So this will be a tarot card, pick a <laughs> tarot card, pick a card reading regarding your shadow self to really dig deep into the aspects of what you see, what goes unseen, and how, you know, you feel and what you truly want. So, and I thought it was an interesting topic, so without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. Hey there, Pile One. If you chose the Lapis Lazuli Heart and the Manga Tarot, then this is your reading. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? We'll place your heart. Let's see if Lakshmi can hold your heart for you. Oh, I don't know. I might be asking a little too much of Lakshmi. I think I was. All right, we'll put it right there. Okay. Lapis Lazuli Heart. All right. Let's go ahead and dig on in. Collective. All right, so group number one. Please, Spirit. Let's go ahead and ask for protection always first and foremost. We call upon our dearest, most precious to our hearts, Archangel Michael, to please come down and protect myself in group number one as we go to the highest white light for spiritual guidance. Please and thank you so much Archangel Michael and then we're going to be asking um, the angels the ascended masters our ancestors the highest white light our star family near and far for a guided message for group number one spirit can you please tap me into the collective of group number one please and thank you we're going to be asking about their shadow self and we'll go layer by layer all right do one more shuffle Group number one, please, Spirit. May I please get a card for pile one, how their ego sees themselves currently? How does pile number one's ego see them currently? The world in reverse. Can I please get the shadow card? Can I get the shadow? How does their shadow see them? How does pile one's shadow see them? Eight of wands in reverse. Can I please get a um, ego for their person that's on their mind? How does the person that's on pile one's mind see themselves through their ego? How does pile one's ego, their person's ego, see themselves? Pile one's person. Pile one's person. How does their ego see them? Pile one's person. How does the shadow of pile one's person see them? How does the pile one's person see their, through their shadow? How does their shadow see them? How does their shadow, pile one's person's shadow, see them? How does pile one's person see them? Shadow. Shadow. versus them. So pile one, how your ego sees you. You, it almost feels as if you cannot let go of something and you know you can't let go of something, but you can't move forward. You have just this very stuck energy. Your ego sees you as, as the song that never ends with this person. There's something that you can't let go of. You can't let, there can't be closure on this. This is how your ego sees 
yourself. Like you know you cannot let go of something. And your shadow self with the eight of wands in reverse, that is that to me is just really, their shadow self is just, they know they're being blocked. They know they're being blocked, but their ego won't let them let it, let it go. Pile one, this is you, pile one, sorry. Your shadow self knows that this connection is over with the eight of wands, right? That's how, I mean, that's how it feels. And then, and with the world in reverse, it's just, it's the song that never ends. Now, the person that's on your mind, the seven of pentacles, they're waiting for something. They're, they're, they see themselves as just kind of planting seeds, hoping, you know, for the best, really. You know what I mean? Like, they're just being patient. They're kind of just got, they're, they're minding their own really a lot with the seven of pentacles. It feels like they're just... They're not really paying any energy to you, pile one, right? That's what it feels like. And with the hermit card, they're just in isolation. They're not, their shadow knows they're in isolation. Their shadow is really, is is trying to get messages and trying to be with spirit as they work towards this, whatever they're working towards with the seven of pentacles. They're, they're putting in blood, sweat, and tears. They see themselves as just putting their head down. So I don't know if you guys are in separation. You're pining for this person, pile one. You want this person really bad. You do not want a cycle to end, but your shadow self knows that there's there's blocks. It can't it can't be. Your shadow knows this, but you, your ego the ego your ego doesn't want to listen to it, right? Flip and flop where it resonates, please. I just this is pile one. This is you. This is your person. So it feels that's what it feels like. So how your ego, pile one, sees your person. This is how your ego views your person. How does your ego view the person here? How does your ego view the person? How does Pile One's ego view their person on their mind? How do they view them? How does Pile One's ego view their person? Knight of Wands in reverse. How does their shadow see their person? How does their shadow see their person? How does their shadow either person the moon how does pile one person see them how does pile one's person ego see them how does pile one's person see them They're on the floor the will of fortune how does the shadow self view pile one or how does shadow <laughs> I don't even want to take that I want to get my question out first how does Pile one's person, sorry, I don't take that either. How does pile one's person's shadow self see pile one? Whew, that is a tongue twister. Please, I can say it again, spirit. <laughs> that was two, I don't want to take those three, it's too many. I just need one, spirit. Can I please get one? One, how does pile one's person shadow self? Okay. Higher form. Okay. Okay, pile one. Knight of this is the Knight of Wands in reverse, and this is how your ego sees them. You see them as someone who is very flighty. You see this person really clearly, to be honest with you, very clearly with the moon in the shadow. And this is how their this is how your shadow self views the other person. Very Pisces with the moon here. Your ego sees them as a flight risk, that they're in and out, in and out, and they're just really self-serving. That's how your ego sees this person. Your shadow self really sees this person for who they are. You, you, you had to use your intuition on this. This is something that, this is very interesting. You have three major arcanas in this row, and the arcanas are all rep right, right? So your person has the wheel of fortune. They know that something is is karmic or something that was, is faded. It feels like it was faded. They know that it was something was faded between your relationship was faded, right? And it was it's a, it's a karmic wheel, right? They feel like they're on the top of the wheel right now with the Seven of Pentacles, and with the Hierophant here, that's all about structure, order, all that, and that's how your shadow self sees. Oh, Good night, all tongue tied. How their shadow sees you, so they see you as the Hierophant. They see you as order, structure, um, someone that they could have actually married. Like this, their shadow holds you in such high esteem with the Hierophant. They think very highly of you. 
and the Wheel of Fortune, though, that they feel that it's something that's karmic. That's, that's how your person sees you. You see them as a flight risk. And the intuition here with this moon under their shadow self seeing you. They they really had to feel you. You were, excuse me, I don't know how to get the, you, you had to really feel them. You had to really read between the lines. You had to really dig deep in in your emotions, your shadow, to 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 feel who they were. And your ego sees them as, you know, flighty as hell. So this is interesting, pile one. Let's go further. So let's go see how your ego sees the connection currently. How does pile one ego sees this connection currently? How do they see this connection currently? How, how do they see the connection currently? That is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Can I please get, how does their shadow, how, Pile One's shadow, how does Pile One's shadow see this connection currently? How does Pile One's shadow see this connection currently? How does their shadow see this connection currently? And a Wands in reverse. How how does pile one's person ego sees the connection? Their person's ego sees this connection. Pile one. Thank you, thank you, sir. Pile one's person's ego. How do they see the connection? How do they see the connection? Oh shoot, it's too many. How do they see the connection, sir? This pile one's person to either see the connection. How do they see the connection? Thank you, sir. Queen of Cups in reverse. We've got some blocked energy for sure. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> that was temperance. Okay, Spirit. Can I please get how does pile one's person's shadow see this connection? How does pile first? Pile number one's person's shadow see this connection. One card please, spirit. Oh, that was way too many, spirit. Getting so many cards. Just one piece, spirit. Just one. Just one piece. One for the shadow self of pile number one's person on how they see the connection. How they see the connection. Six of swords in reverse. All right. So with this layer here. Pile one, you you see you you think that you see clearly. So this is what's so odd. Or these are very juxtaposed energies. With the seven of cups in reverse, that's all about being very clear over your cups. What's meant for you, what's not for you. You could pick your cup right out of the thing. But it's like you lack confidence in your decision with this this that you know with a song that never ends. You know what I mean? Your shadow self sees this connection as it's it could be very very drama filled with the both queens in reverse here it's it's really interesting there might be a lot of drama in this connection and karmic connections are very dramatic so take that where it resonates your ego has is very clear <laughs> over how you see this connection you're not so clear on how you see yourself you see yourself as just a hanger on but you're actually very clear about this connection. You're, you're, this really should be in the upright. Your shadow self sees this connection. As, it's drama. It's, there's a lot of just arguing with the queen of wands in reverse. There could be jealousy and possessiveness and just catty bullshit behavior, just drama queen shit. That's just really, you know, it's, it's bullshit. Like your shadow self sees this as drama and that's why it's not going anywhere <laughs> because it's not meant to be probably. I'm so sorry to say it, but I understand the queen of cups, the, how their ego sees this currently <clears throat> how how their ego sees this connection currently is just drama so where you feel it's like combative you know what i mean like this person they feel that you're kind of a drama queen as well like there's just there's and they and their shadow and sees this as not going anywhere with the six of, six of swords in reverse so i don't know what had transpired between you guys but this just seems like a stale connection that's kind of ran its 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 course um you know because they're Deep down, they don't think it's going anywhere. Deep down, you don't think it's going anywhere. Um, it, so I, I think it's just time to cut ties and let this one go. 
So let's go ahead and go on to how your ego sees this connection in the future. How does Pile One's ego see this connection going in the future? How do they see this connection going on in the future? How does Pile One see this connection going in the future? Pile One, please. Ego, going in the future with this connection. take both of them. Page of coins in reverse. But the six of wands. Oh, so interesting. All right, let's get the shadow. Oh, I don't want to take that. Shadow face spirit. How does person's one shadow see this connection in the future? How does pile one's shadow see this connection going in the future? Knight of cups in reverse. Yeah, it, Pile one, it does not look does not look like a happy ending for you. I'm so sorry. Whew. How does pile one's person see this connection in the future? Their ego. Pile one's person's ego. How do they see this connection in the future? Please say, can I get one card? One card please, for pile one's. All right. Six of, oh, excuse me, four of swords. Thank you, spirit. Pile one's shadow stop of the connection. Oh. Shadow self of Pile One's persons of how they feel the connection in the future. Can I please get one, please, sir? Can I just get one. One for Pile One. Okay. Five of Wands in reverse. I don't want to take that. Okay. On the back, Knight of Swords. Okay. Pile number one. Let's get this party started here. Okay. So for the future, you see yourself as pulling out. You really do. Your shadow sees you pulling out with any love offers. Like you're just, you're kind of done. You're over it. There's just something about this that you, you can't see yourself letting this go. Everything else screams, you know what's up. But it's it, the very first card, the world in reverse. It's your confidence in yourself and the decisions you're making regarding this connection. It, you know, you, you see them as a knight of wands and out like, you know, not really caring about your feelings. You know, you're, you're, you're your clarity over what's going on right now your ego you know sees it they know what's going on your ego sees this person for who they are right or you know for, that's that's how you see them that's how you you see them that's how you're being treated whatever right and with the future your ego knows that it, it can't it's not going anywhere and there won't because there's for you to have victory it, this can't go anywhere like you're gonna pull out you're definitely gonna pull out right you just are pile one. You're not in it anymore. You're kind of hanging on, but for all the wrong reasons, it feels like. For your person, on the other hand, they're busy working on themselves. They're really, you know, got their nose to the ground stone with the hermit here and the seven of pentacles. Like, they're really not entertaining anyone, it feels like. It feels like they're very focused on themselves. How their ego sees you as a, as a karmic wheel, you know, something that just goes around, right? And they're trying to get over. They're trying to get off this fucking wheel with you. Their shadow sees you, you know, as... The higher event like there's they're bummed that it couldn't work out they you know you were something really special to them you know it, 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 breakups are not easy they see they their shadow self really holds you in high esteem right but their ego sees this connection as just needy you know too emotionally needy you feel it as too emotionally drama so there's just things that need to go their shadow sees this connection not going anywhere currently like it's not going nowhere fast they're really focused on themselves pile one and how their ego sees them in the future is just getting rest and rejuvenation. Like they're really, again, focused on their own healing and doing their own thing, right? And their shadow sees the connection in the future is nothing but conflict with the five of wands in reverse. Like, and, and or because their shadow self also sees you as the higher fan, very, you know, very, very, you know, well to do, very high up there in authority, you know, um, all that. They're, they might be worried that you might be in missed opportunity down the road. That could definitely be, some, be a message for some of you. That that's, they're worried that there's, that's going to be an inner conflict um, down the road in the future if you, you know this connection was meant to be with the higher event, and you know maybe marriage or something like that, and then they let it go. Um, so that's interesting, Kyle. Number one. Let's get in further with um, the Oracle cards. Okay. So I want to get. 
and nature's whispers. A card for you, a card for them. Let's see what intuitive message I can get regarding nature's whispers. really interesting read it, it just seems like you guys are kind of toxic for each other right now um, I don't see this connection really um, coming to pass I mean I don't mean to be doom and gloom but that's just that's the way the cards came out you know can we please get a nature's whispers one card for pile one and I want a card for their person nature's whispers for pile one please can I get a nature's whispers for pile one Get a card for a pile number one's person. Card for a pile one's person. Number pile one's person. Number pile one's person, please. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Keep your dreams alive. Love matters on the back. Okay, 48 and 25. All right, so you have very similar colors here. Like this could have been, um, you guys probably come from the same soul family is what is that what it feels like, with, very much so with like the rainbow colors and the, the deep blues. Um, you have a child here that's, that's blowing a hand. Like your person, oh, let's start with you, Pile One, I'm sorry. So Pile One, you just want to, you want to have hope with this world in reverse. That's the hope, right? That everything could come to pass. But I feel deep down, you know that this this venture is is over. Um, you're being guided to walk a different path, is what it feels like. You know what I mean? Like you're getting pulled in one direction, but spirit's trying to guide you in another direction. So I think you just need to, you know, chalk it up. It is what it is, and um, and possibly, you know, work on you. Really work on you. Really, you know, get in touch with the divine. You know, there are all these stars and galaxies up here. Like really, you meditate. Um, you know, really find out if this is, you know, what you want, you know, um, cause I, I don't, I feel like your ego self, you know, doesn't want to let it go, but your shadow self is telling you to move the other direction. Um, so I think you really need to just meditate maybe on this, you know, and, and, um, there's other fish in the sea, like swans, I believe are, um, animals that mate for life. So I see swans down here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six swans. So, I mean, there could be, you could have six different soulmates in your life, and you know what I mean? And this one was just learn the lesson from it and and fly on, right? So like, then they got some in the air. So you can have, you know, this, take it where it resonates. There's other people out there. There's like 7.5 billion or 8 billion people in the world. There's, there's others. You have many soulmates, many soulmates. As for your person, keep the dreams alive. They have a hard time letting this go as well. They're also very being guided by their star brothers and sisters. Like, I feel like you guys are very much from the same um, star family. And, you know, you definitely have had a soul contract, it almost feels like, um, that it, ha it got fulfilled. You know, it definitely got fulfilled. Like, I think there was major lessons that were learned here. Um, and the your person just wants they just want to be happy. I'm not, I'm not going to say, like, you want to be happy, they want to be happy. But I just don't think you can be happy together. You know, and it, it kind of blows their mind, too. Like, I just, like, you know, the emoji with, like, the head blown off, you know, with the... I, I feel like they didn't necessarily want to let this connection go either, like you didn't, but they had, they, they saw, that, you know, that this, there's a lot of drama here. So I feel that, you know, the time is up. Um, and you guys will be better off apart. So sorry. Okay, let's move on from that, shall we? <laughs> let's go ahead and get um, some unicorns, please. Can I please get a unicorn for pile number one? A unicorn for them and a unicorn for their pile number two. Yeah. It's like denial. I think you're both in denial over this connection. Um, as far as, you know, trying to keep it together, because it feels like you're better off apart. 
It really does. I know, that sounds like shitty ass news, so I'm hoping, you know, but if this is your message, then you're already fucking living it, you know, I ain't telling you nothing you don't know, so. Yikes, I'm just trying to confirm some intuition so they can live your best life, all right? So we can stop waiting for a connection that's not gonna come to pass. Can I please get a unicorn card, please, girl? Can I get, please get one unicorn, yay! action now is a perfect time to to act take inspired acting towards your dreams move forward with confidence so if you've been holding back on doing something maybe because this person go and take action on it go live your life you know what i mean like don't wait anymore you know you're like holding yourself back in life by like pining after this connection you take action in your own life you know can i card for the pile ones person Pile one's person, please say it. Can I pray for pile one's person? Pray for pile one's person, please. You guys could have known each other for a very long time. You know, I feel like you're definitely you had a soul contract. That's maybe why it was so why it's so intense. Maybe you pray for pile one's person. Thank you, sir. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Very sacral chakra. So your person's just, they're, they're really working on themselves at this time. You know, they might need help from other friends at this time. You know, maybe they, they're having a hard time breaking up over this, this connection. Um, and, you know, they could have a support system trying to nurture them or, you know, trying to keep their dreams alive, trying to work hard, trying to get the message, trying to make the best of this as, you know, this as they can. Celebration. All right, let's get a dragon on it, guys. Get some dragons. Okay. Can I please get one dragon for pile one and one dragon for pile one's person? One dragon for pile one, please get one. red black and gold dragon protects you in times of change a time of rapid transition and transformation relax you are safe like there's definitely find your dragon for pile one person please a lot of change going on here for sure i mean pile one is, it seems like you're holding on you don't want the change to come but you need to know that you're protected and to roll with this change show me a dragon for pile one person please say it Another person. Uh, one's person, please. Thank you, sir. Source dragon attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Match it can happen. Be in the moment. Like exactly. Your person, they're just turning into source right now. They're heavy into this seven of pentacles hermit. Like they're that they're really focused on themselves right now. Really focused on themselves. Um and it's for the better. So maybe, you know, if, if this connection matures, you know what I mean? The drama's not so heavy that, you know, you might be able to come back in, together in the future. You know, that your person is worried that it is, that this connection was, you know, something great, because they also saw you as the hive, but, you know, their shadow does. And their shadow's conflicted that, you know, if this connection dies, that they're gonna, you know, miss an opportunity. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Seems like you guys could really use some couples therapy. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> All right. Let's get some romance angels on it, Spirit. Let's just get three romance angels on it. Can we get some romance angels on this connection, please? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Don't, if this is a bad connection that ended badly, don't let it, <laughs> deception exactly, someone is wearing false masks in this relationship, so don't jade yourself is really what I get from this, so pile one, don't let this person, if you feel that you were deceived, or you know, in the past or whatever it was, don't let that de deception ruin you 
from love in the future. Don't let it. Like, heal whatever wounds happen. Learn the lessons from it. Like, that's that's the biggest thing, is learn the lessons so they don't get repeated. Can I get one more piece of it? Can I get one more piece of it? One more for Paulin. And the connection. Paulin's connection. Here, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and relations will help you bring you together. I truly feel that you guys are from the same soul family and this connection was fated to happen. It definitely was with the Wheel of Fortune here. You're, you, 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 your person knows it. Your person knows that this connection was fated to happen. And it's so frustrating because it seems like it, the pull to, of you guys is so strong. But you have deception, I feel, on both sides that aren't, aren't, is, is really holding the healing up. I think you, you know, the best case scenario is just to back away really work on yourselves your person is doing that so maybe you pile one could really you know take a page out of your person's book and just perm it up and go to work on yourself you know do some shadow work you know discover what it is about you you know in this connection that is toxic or whatever you know what i mean and why it didn't work because um, this person your person is definitely reflecting right now they're reflecting they're doing their homework on themselves for sure for sure for sure so maybe you could do too and then if this is fated to be, then it can be fated to be and, and come together. But at the present time, mm -mm, it's like toxic stew right now. So um, take it or resonate. Okay. All right, we're gonna get some lovers oracles. Oh, on the back was deep blue dragon. All right, we're gonna get some lovers oracles. Can I get a lovers oracle for Paula? Thank you, Scott. Oh, well, we got two. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Just surrender it. Again, if this was if this is meant to be, it'll be. You have to trust it and just let it it will automatically transform by you not doing anything. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Did I not just fucking say that, pile one? Your person is out doing shadow work, really working on themselves. You need to do the same. Pile one's person, can I get lovers work with a pile one's person? Thank you, say it. Here's that picture. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Precisely, again guys, like I can't make this up, I'm pretty sure it's backwards, you know, but I'll read it again. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. And love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So as you back away from each other and do the work on it, you know, on yourselves, if this connection is, is faded and meant to be, then surrender it, let it go. And if it comes back together, you know, with masks, no masks, you know, deception's done, like this would have to be, you know, done so. You cannot have divine love with masks, straight up. So if this is still prevalent, then this connection will not be ready to get together. Because um, as long as someone wears a mask, you cannot be sacred partners. There's no masks in sacred partnership. So until um, that shit happens, that's all I got for you, Pile One. I hope this helped you in some w which way or shape or form because it feels very chaotic um, mentally. Mentally very chaotic, very on the fence and uh, not knowing what to do. Um, so that's that's what I have for you, Pile One. Much love to you and I wish you the best. Um, please, you know, give and show me a like or a subscribe if you feel so called. And um, I, I really hope do the work on yourself, look inside yourself, Pile One, because you are definitely worth it. All right? Talk to you later. Hey there, Pile 2! Welcome to your reading. If you had chosen the yellow calcite heart, this is a message on the sun and moon tarot, this is your reading. So we'll go ahead and put that right here. Okay, so like I said in the intro, in case you skipped it, this will be looking at your shadow self, um, you versus them. So your, uh, the, there'll be four different layers to this aspect. So the first layer is how your ego sees you, how your shadow sees you, and same for them. The next tier will be how your ego sees them, how your shadow sees them, and then likewise. 
And then the third aspect will be how your ego sees this connection currently and your um, how your shadow sees this connection currently. And then again for them. And then <clears throat> lastly, the fourth layer will be how your ego sees this connection in the future and how your shadow sees this connection in the future. And again, mirrored on the other side for your person. Okay, pile two. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just light some real quick Palo Santo and just make sure I ring bells, but I want to really clear out the energy um, from the pile, the previous pile. So that way it's nice and fresh. Nice and fresh in here. We want nice fresh cards and energies. All right, that feels good. Okay. Let's get on in it with it. All right. Pile number two. So we're going to go ahead and ask for protection from our dearest, most beloved, precious to our hearts, Archangel Michael. Will you please come down and protect myself in pile number two as we ask for a guided read from the Divine Most High most high, most high, spirit, light, light. And we're gonna call our angels, our ancestors of the highest light, light, the ascended masters, our star brothers and sisters near and far. Can we please get a guided message for pile number two? Please, spirit, can you tap me into the collective of pile number two? Please and thank you, spirit. Please and thank you. Let's go ahead and get on in it. All right, let's do the first layer. How your ego sees you. Pile number two. How your ego sees you. How your ego sees you. Pile number two. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. It's a very nice, strong energy. How your shadow sees you. How your shadow sees you. Sees you, pile number two. Your shadow. Prince of, ooh, two cards, and we're going to take them both. Page of Swords with the Hanged Man. Hmm. Someone's been doing a lot of homework on themselves and starting to see things from a different perspective, it seems. Princess of Swords with the Page of Swords. Your person, pile number two. How does their ego see themselves? How does pile number two's person see themselves? The star. Wow, you guys are very close. <laughs> pile number two, shadow. How does pile number two's shadow see themselves? How does pile number two's shadow see themselves? How does pile number two's shadow? Or the um, ship. I don't even want to take that because I worded that wrong. Spirit, can I please see how piled number two's person, shadow, sees them? Oh, Lord. That's a tongue twister. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Temperance in reverse. Okay. How funny is that? All right. So definitely, pile number two, your person puts on a um, brave face. Brave, brave face. I'm just going to tell you right now because deep down inside, they're like um, falling apart at the seams but they're really masking it while their ego is very strong with a star here. Okay, pile number two, Nine of Pentacles. You see yourself as very strong, stable, independent. I, I feel that this couple is um, not together at the moment. It, just, it, it definitely feels that way. The Nine of Pentacles is a single solitary energy and they're happy being single. They're just, you are very much doing your own thing with the Page of Swords and the Hanged Man. Like, you now see things from a different perspective. This connection, it feels like. I don't want to get too further because that's answers down in the fucking down below. But I feel like you're definitely, your shadow sees through this connection, you now see yourself differently. And you went and you've gathered information. You, you know what I mean? And it's it's put you, it pushed you into your best possible self. So what, how whatever this connection is, this connection is pushing you to the best possible version of yourself. I don't, we're going to get in further, but you see yourself as very strong. Your shadow sees you, you know, your shadow is like congratulating you with this hanged man and the page of swords. Like you really took the time on yourself to get different perspective, to be so strong, stable and independent. Right. So kudos to you. 
your person, they see themselves as a star. They see themselves as the cat's meow. They see themselves as wish fulfillment. Um, but deep down inside, they're temperance in reverse. Deep down inside their shadow, they feel unbalanced. They don't know if they're coming or they're going. They feel they, they don't know where to go. They don't know. It's like their energy is a coin toss. They, whatever it feels like their ego shows is very much a show very much a show for how they really deep down and inside feel about themselves all right let's go to the next layer uh, how your ego sees your person pile two pile two's ego sees their person how does pile two's ego see their person death rebirth how does pile two's shadow see them how does Pile 2's shadow see their person? How does Pile 2's shadow see their person? How does Pile 2's shadow see their person? Pile 2's shadow, how does their shadow see their person? Pile 2's shadow, how does their shadow see their person? How does Pile 2's shadow see their person? Please see it. Thank you. And we're in reverse. So, very interesting. Let me get your persons first. Um, spirit, may I please get Pile 2's persons, how they, how their ego sees Pile 2. How does Pile 2's person see them, them, their ego? Two of Pentacles. How does Pile 2's person's shadow see Pile 2? The lovers. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's about decisions and oh, so interesting. Okay. So this aspect here. How you see them, you see this as a death and rebirth. Again, like I had stated earlier, this person has pushed you to become the best version of yourself, right? <clears throat> and you see them as them doing just that. They they pushed you to be this this phoenix rising from the ashes right and you see them as that aspect like you you your ego is consciously aware that this connection served a very big purpose for you to to blossom and to be a new you right your shadow self sees this person as very depressed your shadow knows their shadow it knows it the inference in verse with the temperance in reverse. This is how your shadow sees them. This is how their shadow sees them. It's very unbalanced and it's very depressing. You you could see through this person's mask for sure. <laughs> very much so. Okay. Now their ego, they see you as two of pentacles, like wishy-washy. Like you don't know what to do. Like you don't know what to decide. You don't know where to go, right? It's so ironic because they that's how they feel about themselves. <laughs> right but that's how they view you so it's definitely feels like a mirror projection of this aspect going on how they feel um, that you don't know what to do when in actuality they don't know what what to do that's very very interesting and their shadow sees you as the lovers you know what i mean the shadow again that's about i can also make making decisions you know but your their shadow knows your shadow as well it feels like you've gotten two cards over here yeah, this is interesting. So their shadow recognizes you. This could be, you know, soulmate situation. Their shadow knows it, right? They see you as a lover, as a good lover, is what I hear. Okay. Next aspect, how your ego sees this connection currently. Sir, can you please show me? How does Kyle 2's ego see this connection currently? How does Pile 2's ego see this connection currently, please and thank you. One card, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Four of Swords. You feel like this connection is just on ice right now. It's just rest, you know, it's like it's not going nowhere. How does your shadow see this connection currently, Pile 2? How does Pile 2's shadow see this connection currently, please and thank you. Ace of Cups. Interesting. How does Pile 2's person, 
How does, oh, damn it. <laughs> How did Pile 2's person's ego see this connection currently? How does Pile 2's person's ego see this connection currently? Please start one card. One card. Oh, I feel like that was it. King of Wands. Interesting. How does their shadow see this connection currently? How does their shadow see this? Nine of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse. Really interesting here. That's their shadow. Okay. This person is very unsure. Okay, let's start with you, pile, pile two. So sorry. So how you feel, your ego feels about this connection is you, you're getting rest and rejuvenation. You're definitely, you put, this is put on ice right now. It feels like you haven't let it go entirely. It does not feel like you've let it go entirely. But you know that right now where you're at a juncture where you just, you got to do some work on yourself, it feels like, you know, and just take some rest and just get with spirit and just, you know, you know, stalemate at the present time. Your shadow sees this as a divine lover. Like, you guys can be very high-level soulmates, you know, um, a heart, soul contract or something in that regard. But your shadow self knows it's divine love, or you know what I mean? It's really hard to explain. Like, your shadow self knows whatever had happened between you guys was definitely faded, right? It was faded probably more or less to find your independence and fill your own cup up in which this person pushed you to do, which is beautiful. Um, and I, don't, I feel like you've not... It, it's not like you have a chip on this person. Like, you don't hate this person. You know, there's not malice here. But you just know that this person is wearing masks. You know, that this person is going off like they're the star and they're, you know, God's gift to men or women. When in reality, that's just a mask for how they truly feel. Right? They feel that this connection, they, they think that they are the cat's meow. Masculine or feminine, they really do. They think that they can really kind of come in and really, you know, they're the king of wands. They're the king of fire. They, they, you know, they're, they could be very sexual. They could be um, very pushy. You know, they, they see themselves as a leader trying to fight for this connection. You know what I mean? They feel like, like a hero. Like that's how they see themselves or this connection, right? Like they're going to come in and save the day, right? Because they're shadowy, they see you, they see this connection as complete happiness. As your nine of cups, of, or excuse me, nine of pentacles, you see yourself as strong, independent, secure, all that. Their shadow sees this connection as as total wish fulfillment, right? But there's, they also know that they're not exactly being um, with the can cups in reverse. They're not emotionally mature yet. You know, they they're they haven't done the work to deserve this this union. It feels like, to be honest with you. You know, they, they, they want all day, but are they doing any work to actually get it? You know what I'm saying? Um, they can huff and puff and, you know, blow the house down, but your houses are made of bricks and their your house can't be blown down. Um, so they really got to work on themselves if they want to have this connection come together because they're just wearing masks and they see you as everything but they're emotionally immature. They might have wounds that they need to heal within themselves to really um, come at you mature and to understand emotions. Because uh, there's something about this person that they're just wearing this mask and it, they're they're very attractive. You know, person, pile two, your person's very attractive as a king of wands, you know, and they know it, uh, but that's part of the problem too, is they know that they're attractive and they need to balance out their confidence in their looks with the confidence of their emotions is what it really, really boils down to they kind of put the look so so much energy on the looks away and put more energy on their emotions and healing themselves and um, if this connection has a chance in how all right let's go to the last layer how your ego sees this connection in the future spirit can i please get one card for how the pile two person sees or pile two how they see this connection going in the future their ego self how does their ego self see this connection in the future pile two please spirit pile two pile two pile two ego future connection one Please and thank you. Please and thank you. One part of pile two. Pile two's ego connection in the future. How do they see this connection in the future? How do they see it? Page of Cups. Or excuse me, Knight of Cups. How does their shadow see this connection in the future? How does Pile two? Oh. Four of Wands. Interesting. Pile two. Pile two's person. How does pile two's person ego see this connection in the future? 
How do they see this connection in the future? Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some coming back. Pile two. How does their shadow person? How does pile two's person's shadow see this connection in the future, please? Six of Swords. On the back. Six of Pentacles. I heard just when the Six of Swords came in reverse, I, I heard there's nowhere to go without you. There's, there's, there's nowhere to be without you. There's, there is no forward without you is, is what I heard. Like this, this person, your person pile too, they're not going to want to let you go. They need to do some work on themselves. There's no denying that they definitely have some emotional maturity that they really need to balance out with, um, you know, the action they want to take towards making this connection work because it's not balanced out. They really, really have to feel like they got to do some healing on themselves, you know, really get the confidence in themselves. Um, so that way you guys can be harmonious. Pile two, you 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 see this as coming back together. You see with the Knight of Cups, you see as love offers coming through. Like, you know, like the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Four of Swords here. Like you right now it's on ice. Deep down you know it's coming back together. Deep down you know it's coming back together. Page, page the Knight of Cups, you know that he, this person's gonna write in with the Eight of Wands. You know that this person's gonna write in with love offers, hopefully with, you know, they've done the work on themselves and have four of wands. Your shadow self wants a stable life with this person, pile two. There's no, there's no denying that. In the future, your, your, your shadow is rooting for this connection. It's really cute as hell. It really is. It's really congratulating you on how much work you've done to really know your worth because that is what's pulling this person towards you. This death and rebirth, this, this change is you. You're sparking this change pile too. It's wonderful. It's very strong and it's it's such unconditional love feeling because even though you had to let this person go at put this connection on ice, you knew it was for a greater good. If this if for you to preserve this connection in the future, you knew it had to go on ice right now. Because where this person is feeding it, right? Like you had to put it on ice with the four of swords. They want to fucking, you know, light that bonfire at the King of Wands. But you know deep down something isn't right. You know deep down this person is not emotionally mature yet. And they can't have Nine of Cups happiness with you, right? They can't come. They can't have, look at your, the Knight of Cups to make that Ten Cups. They can't ride in with this until they did some work on themselves. And they're not letting you go with the Six of Swords in reverse. They don't see, your, their shadow does not see a future without you in it, is what I'm told. Is what I hear. And they're going to want to come back swift. Very swift. So um, that's really cool. That's really cool. I feel like they, they might just very well do the work on themselves if they do the work on themselves. Yeah, that's, that's hard to say. Their shadow is aware of it. Their shadow knows that they are emotionally immature. It's only when they might be able to become aware of it that they can actually do the work, you know, and, and release any blocks with, you know, the eight of wands and, and be able to move forward with you. But you're, you pile two, you definitely see, um, you end up with this person. It's really cute as hell. Really cute as hell, I'll have to say. All right, Pile 2, let's get a Nature's Whisper card for you. Oh. Spirit, can we please get a Nature's Whisper card? One for Pile 2 and one for Pile 2. Please and thank you. One Nature's Whisper for Pile 2 and one for Pile 2's person. Please and thank you. All right. Let's get one Nature's Whisper for you, Pile 2. This. Oh, you are worth it. I love that one. Pile two's person. Can I get a nature's first person for pile one? Pile two's person. Ugh. Pile two. Pile two's person. Thank you, spirit. Fresh approach. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. That is really beautiful. You are waiting for this person's awakening. You are definitely waiting for this person to wake up to who they are. Oh my gosh, I love that. 23 and 21. Beautiful. You're patiently waiting, pile two, for your persons to wake up and their ships to sail in. You've been waiting a very long time, it feels like. Um, but it feels like you have such unconditional love for this person. Like, 
you're not even mad at the time that you were apart you know what I mean like you're just so happy to have them come back and be be correct be you know deserving of you because you are worth it and you know you're worth it and it feels like once this person shapes up and and really sees that and treats you right and you know everything that they were supposed to it, it's really magical it's very very magical this person they're getting a new outlook on life they're very much getting a new outlook on life they're trying to understand they're trying to get grounded right this this angel here her, her wings are all like animals her hair is a tree her body like water runs down her body the, the divine the divine is trying to guide this person to really illuminate to them the world the real world to to wake them up is what it feels like a fresh approach like they could be on the cusp of an awakening and you're just like so happy and thankful for it <laughs> it really feels like look see the cloud imagery too see how there's those clouds and then you got the the, the dahlia or the lotus I think it was a lotus and then in the cloud you have the ship right the girl's happy the ship's coming and here you have the clouds and then you have the world like your person's going to go be illuminated by the divine the divine's going to ground them and then make them see the whole new world that's before them they're gonna have a fresh new approach on themselves and everything else it's really beautiful guys that's really cool oh, i feel really strong for your connection let's get a dragon i love that oh man very synchronistic for me for you guys but just keep loving yourself kyle too the more you love yourself and the more you push away any toxic behavior it's going to force this person to do one of two things, either shape up or ship out, right? And I feel like they're going to shape up. <laughs> and you've done everything right, Pile 2. I mean, you really have. You really, really have. All right, let's get a dragon for you. I'm going to do a unicorn. Let's get a unicorn for Pile 2. One unicorn for Pile 2, please, sir. Can I get one unicorn for Pile 2? Oh, abundance. Enjoy your bounty and <clears throat> enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I get a unicorn for Pile 2's person, please? Right. You're just loving life. You feel so abundant. Like you, you have such unconditional love for this person over here. You're just going to be so glad for them once they finally awake more than anything you're just gonna be so happy your shadow is gonna be so happy like yes i know you underneath all those masks unicorn for spirit for number five two's person right one unicorn for five two's person one unicorn please thank you spirit receive be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon oh how funny is that so pile two you have abundance and they have believe you are worthy of abundance so maybe this person has some self-confidence issues that push you away because they don't feel that they're worth you right because they don't feel worthy but they need to know that they are worthy of abundance and you are abundance look how beautiful look at there's a crystal sphere right here oh how funny is that this is very synchronous. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be coming down together, coming back together down the, ro the road. I, it definitely feels like Pile 2, you have not given up hope, and Pile 2, your person has, uh, doesn't see a, any future without you. They don't see any forward movement without you. And they want to come in and get you right now, but they have some work to do. They need to get grounded. They need to, to awaken to be with you, because it seems like you've done, done did it. Now it's their, they need to go and done do it. If this this union is going to harmonize. Dragon, please, Spirit. Can I get a dragon for Pile 2? One for them and one for their person. One for the Pile 2. Can I get one for Pile 2, please, Spirit? One for Pile 2. One for Pile 2. One for Pile 2, please. Dragon, can I get one dragon for Pile 2, please, Spirit? Goodness. Golden Atlantean dragon helps you remember the wisdom of the golden of golden Atlantis. Awaken, bring back your knowledge, gifts, and talents, reclaim your mastery. Precisely, I got a little clear quartz crystal right here. 
Pile two, you have gone through your awakening. You know, you you remember, and I feel like your shadow remembers. You know, obviously, you know, you, your soul remembers all your past lives, your higher self. You know, they're trying to guide you and bring back the knowledge to you. Know, you've awakened, and I feel like your person is going to awaken, all in divine timing. But you just keep working on yourself. By you working on yourself, is is pulling this person in. Magenta dragon enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Holy shit. You guys have spent lifetimes in the past together, for sure. This is a, this is a, I feel, there's so many synchronicities. Enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Remembering the Atlantis times, like, you guys have been together. Look at the fire here. <laughs> Awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. Yes, your person's going to go through possibly a brutal awakening. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out there, you know, because, um, they they i feel like it's going to need it i feel like to top to tackle this person's ego of themselves it's going to take some humbling um and in in that humbling is when they're going to have an accelerated ascension because if they're meant to be with you then they gotta book it they gotta book it if they if you guys are going to be together all right all right so let's go ahead and get on some um let's get some romance angels on it Faux oh, show. Like, this person's going to go through an ascension. If they haven't or aren't already. I don't think they have. I think this is going to be coming up um, very quickly. Very quickly with that eight of wands for sure. Um, I think you guys are, are high level soulmates. And I think you're going to be so happy once this person awakens, you know, to their soul they're so knowing that you know you guys have lived many lifetimes on each other and you possibly woke each other up it's, it's it's a beautiful beautiful balance let's get some romance on it please Derek. we get some romance angels you can get like three please you can get like three please Derek. there's one two oh there's three all right ask me shall receive chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here past life relationship you have known each other before right family healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so there's just deep seated wounds you know what I mean that that I believe your person pile two has to heal before that they can ascend they have blocks that they need to really to clear up whatever it is you know and I mean because there is amazing chemistry here and again you guys have spent many lifetimes together like look at the passion like that's passion on passion so i'm sure whenever you guys do get together in the let's say in the the boudoir i bet you it does not lack the fireworks let's just put it that way um but it feels like you pile number two your person puts more stake on the physicality of things than you do i feel like you you welcome the passion for sure who wouldn't right i mean this guy's a stud but or this chick's hot but um you know that's not everything like your soul remembers the mission your soul remembers this person your soul it's this is this is deep this is this goes beyond just just skin this goes beyond just the flesh like like this is some serious soulmate shit like serious soulmate shit and your your soul knows it you're <laughs> You're so strong, Pile 2. You just really are. You, you know exactly what to do. Like, you, you just do. You know, you... It's amazing how, how in touch you are with yourself. Like, you're very confident. And you're very beautiful. So, alright. Let's go ahead and get some Lover's Oracles. Can I get a Lover's Oracle support? Pile 2, please, sir. Can I get a Lover's Oracle for Pile 2? Lover's Oracle for Pile 2? Thank you, Spirit. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and memories you have shared with those you love. Oh my goodness. This came out in pile one. For pile one. <laughs> As pile ones. How funny is that? So maybe if you felt called to see pile one, go check it out. All right. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Like, again, pile number two you know that there's there's higher purpose. There's higher purpose than waking up, brushing your teeth, eating your food, sending your kids off to school, going to Dork, coming home, and just to wake up and do it all over again. You know that there's 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 meaning in everything. Like and you're you're really doing the work on yourself. I feel like you're really clearing the blocks. You're really trying to ascend to 
you know, where your soul wants to be this lifetime, right? I, I, without a shadow of a doubt, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. <laughs> Precisely, pot, your person pile number two, they have some shadow work. And look, family, like a tree's here. Do you see that? Family tree, right? Look inside, examine what's causing you to feel this way. They have like, like almost generational curses or something karmic with their family that they need to heal. That's, that's prompting them to look at and to heal so they can release it and ascend. And I feel like one way or another, it's going to get shown. I don't know how, which way, well, how, but I feel like this person, because you guys are fated to be together, is going to be pushed into doing the shadow work and ascending to be with you. So just keep your eyes on you pile number two and this connection will naturally just come together it feels i feel like you're not even gonna have to try so again i think pile two the more you work on yourself the more you love yourself the more you value yourself that's going to make that person feel and view you the same in which you should have been treated all along so um if this is a a newer connection um it could be um but it, it definitely feels like it was a connection that fell apart and, and it's going to come back together again. Um, so cool pile two. Kudos to you. I really hope you and your person are happy, happy, happy in the future because that's looking like it's where it's going. All right, pile two. That's all I have for you. On to the next. Talk to you later. Oh, and give me a thumbs up if this helped you in any which way. <laughs> and subscribe if you feel so called. Thank you so much. Hey there, Pile 3. If you selected the Road and Night Heart with the Druid Craft Tarot, this is your reading. All right, so let's go ahead and see what um, spirit that has for you. Okay, so if you missed the intro, what this reading is about is about the sh your ego and shadow self, you versus them. So it's how your ego sees you, how your shadow sees you, and same for them, how your ego sees them, how your shadow sees them and vice versa. The third aspect is how your ego sees this connection currently and how your shadow sees this connection currently, same for them. And lastly is how your ego sees this connection in the future and how your shadow sees this connection in the future and vice versa for them. Okay, so first we're going to get in and we're going to definitely ask our dearest, most precious, beloved Archangel Michael to please come down and protect myself and pile number three as we go to the highest light light for spiritual guidance. Please and thank you so much, Archangel Michael. And then we're going to ask our angels, the ascended masters, our ancestors of the highest light light, and our star brothers and sisters near and far for a guided message for pile number three. Spirit, can you please tap me into the collective of pile number three and tell them what they or show them what they need to see, please and thank you. Okay. Let's get in at pile number three. All right, first card will be how your ego sees you. How your ego sees you. How your ego sees you. Pile number three. Please tap me into the collective of pile number three. Death. Pile number three, shadow. How does pile number three's shadow see himself? How does pile number three's shadow see himself, please, sir? How does pile number three's shadow see himself? Two of wands in reverse. Okay. Pile number three. How does pile number three's person, ego, themselves. How does Pile Three's person's ego see themselves? Please, spirit. Pile Three's person. Oh, there's too many spirit. Pile Three's person. Pile Three's person. Please, spirit. Pile Three's person. How do they see themselves? Two of Swords. Oh, how funny is that? <laughs> pile Three. Shadow self. How does the shadow self see themselves? How does Pile Three's shadow? Pile Three's person's shadow see themselves? Pile three's person's shadow. That was way too many, sir. I just need one, please. I need one, please, sir. One, please. Pile three's person's shadow sees themselves. Six of swords in reverse. Okay. 
so the first layer pile three you see yourself as transformed you don't see yourself as the same person as you was or you want to believe that more than anything you want to believe that you have moved on from something that there's this is over with like i'm i'm new 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 you know i'm new new but your shadow self sees you as not having a sense of direction. So it's like, I think you're kind of putting on a brave face for yourself to think that you, you've transformed and you've ascend, you know, ascended when in actuality, deep down, your shadow feels, it doesn't know which direction to choose. It feels like you're holding on to something that deep down you'd want it, but your ego self is denying you of. It feels like it, and then your shadow is, it, it feels, your shadow self feels like it doesn't have a sense of direction because your ego self is going in a direction that your shadow didn't want you to. So it just feels torn between your ego, you know, saying this, that, and the other, we've transformed, you know, we're, we're new, we're different, you know, we've rebirthed, when your shadow's like, no, I think, you know, we're supposed to go this way, or there's something to that regard, we're not having a sense of direction. Um, and just feeling kind of like a wandering um, energy. Your person pile three, they feel like they have no direction or sense of, or they don't know where to go either. That's what's, it's so funny, it's mirroring, because your person, they legit don't know where to go. They legit feel stuck and not know at a crossroads and know which side to go or where where to go. Like at that, they don't know where to proceed in life with this two of swords and they their ego sees themselves as this so at least they're very i mean humble about it they're not trying to to fake it you know what i mean they're they're like saying i fucking don't know what to decide <laughs> right and, and they're they're up front with it their shadow selves with the six of swords here in reverse their shadow selves sees themselves again as not being able to make moves or to go to move to, to do anything but i feel like you know like their shadow self is is it, it, they know that they're stuck with the six of swords in reverse there's no forward movement right or rough seas or rough waters so let's get in further with that because that's that's we have two air cards here in our arcana with the fire so let's go further all right pile number three what is your how does your ego see your person pile three how does pile three's ego see this person queen of swords mm. How does Pile 3 shadow see this person? How does Pile 3's shadow see this person? How does Pile 3's shadow see this person? How does Pile 3's shadow see this person? How does shadow, how does Pile 3's person, or how does Pile 3's shadow see their person? Some tongue twister, man. One card to start, thank you. Page of Prince of Swords in reverse. That's the Knight of Swords in reverse. So that's how your shadow sees them. How does pile number three's person, how does their person, ego, see pile three? One card, please, here. Thank you. Eight of Cups. Ooh, heavy ass energy, guys. Damn. <laughs> how does pile three's person's shadow see them? How does person three's shadow see pile three how does their shadow see pile three eight of wands so interesting eight of cups eight of wands four of cups in reverse okay so pile number three you see this person as setting heavy boundaries you see this person as um kind of cold and distant and you know it's air and water and then it's upright so you feel your your ego sees this person as, as someone who is not very very warm you know someone who's very analytical someone who's very cut to the point someone who doesn't mince words that's how your ego sees your person right <laughs> and it's so ironic is because then you have the night of your shot their shadow right your shadow sees them as a knight of swords in reverse which is a very volatile energy which is very very it can snap in a minute it's you know it, it can be very low vibrational um so where your ego sees this person as almost like on a pedestal your shadow knows that it is just real really light low vibrational where this person isn't so much as setting boundaries as they're just being mean is really what it feels like you know what i mean honestly so i think you are maybe mistaken this person as for them being cold and distant and holding boundaries on something 
that they're just being low vibrational in their speech and they're not really acting out in their higher selves. So I think you're giving this person a little too much clout, pile three. Now, pile three, your person, they see you as walking away. They see you as your out skis, right? Definitely so. This is you, pile, pile three. This is how they, their ego sees you. They see you as, as walking up that, that ridge, like gone, like bye-bye, right? And they see your shadow. How funny is this is a communication card, big communication. You both have communication cards in your shadows. So they see you as just, you know, bye, Felicia. Like, essentially, you know what I mean? Like, eight of wands, like, I'm out, I'm done, I'm, I'm gone. Like, and that's what this connection almost felt like. Like, if you guys, if this connection was together and it fell apart and you're not together right now, I feel like it just was that, like, like, like that. Like, it just ended like that. It really did. It feels like there's some iciness on both sides, some communication problems on both sides. Um, for reals, you... Pile, pile three, I feel that your person did not communicate to you in a high vibration, and they think that you acted too rash by walking away so quickly, so and by making decisions and acting on them, right, to have this death and rebirth, like it just like happened, right, but you feel a little lost, like I feel like this transformation went up like a lot quicker than you anticipated, pile three. All right, let's go further. Let's see how your ego sees this connection currently let's get into that pile three how does your ego see this connection currently one card please spirit pile three how does pile three see this connection currently how do they see it currently please and thank you spirit how does pile three see this connection how does their ego see this connection currently please and thank you please and thank you two of cups in reverse yeah disharmony Pile three, how does their shadow see this connection currently? How does pile three's shadow see this connection currently? Ten of swords in reverse. Damn. Pile three's person, how does pile three's ego see this connection currently? How does pile three's connect person see this connection currently, please sir? How does pile three's person see this connection currently? Pile three's person's ego see this connection currently? One part. How does Pile Three's person's shadow see this? How does Pile Three's person's shadow self see this connection currently? Pile Three's shadow. Pile Three's person's shadow. How does Pile Three's person's shadow see this connection? Thank you, Spirit. Currently, whoop. Oh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, Pile Three. So right now, you know there's disharmony in this, and you, there's a lot of wounding here. Your shadow knows that there's been a lot of wounds that need to be let go and healed, for sure. But, and by holding on to these wounds, it's not going to serve you, Pile 3. Your shadow knows that this, that your shadow knows that these wounds need to be healed and let go, so you can actually go ahead and, and move forward and have your, your death and rebirth. Because of, while you're holding on to these wounds, that's what's giving you no sense of direction right by you i mean you know there's disharmony here you know it you know there's disharmony there's an imbalance it's 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 not not kosher like you you know this right and you but by you holding on to these wounds these all these swords in your back it's giving you this feeling of, of not knowing where to go so as you heal you'll ascend and you'll have your death and rebirth like you're meant to now your person, they see this as just kind of like it is what it is with this justice card here. Like they see this connection as their ego sees this connection as like it all shakes out the way it's meant to shake out. Like decisions we made, justice will be served. Everything will, everybody will get theirs in the end. You know what I mean? With the justice here, that's how they feel. I think they've kind of just accepted the decision. I feel like your person has, you know, kind of just, just, has made peace with it with this justice here right but their shadow self knows that there's something about with this queen of wands in reverse so the queens of wands in reverse can talk about jealousy it can talk about um you know being in a being a wish um it could talk about um um being you know being real real self-serving you know just not giving a shit about anyone's feelings like definitely self-serving so with this as this person's shadow card they just feel like this connection it just it couldn't it couldn't get grounded it couldn't get grounded 
Uh, through your person's shadow knows that this connection cannot be grounded at the here and now with the Queen of Wands in reverse. That is, there's too much drama. That's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. There's too much drama. And that's, that, that's, that's, that's what they see. They see that their shadow sees this connection currently as drama. You, your shadow sees this connection as a lot of freaking heavy weight, right? That needs to be healed and dealt with. Like, no shit, man. This is, this is super interesting, guys. All right, let's move on further. This is the last layer here. How your ego sees this, <clears throat> this connection in the future. All right, pile three. How does pile three's ego see this connection in the future? Three of wands in reverse, waiting. How does pile three's shadow see this connection in the future? How does pile three's shadow see this connection in the future? I know three of wands in reverse, that's retreating energy. Pile three, please, Spirit. Can I get pile three's shadow? Pile three's shadow. How they see the connection in the future, please, Spirit. Sorry to project that up. Yeah, rebirth. Rebirth in reverse, which is the world. Yeah, nope. That's 20, so that's actually judgment. Wow. Can I please get pile three's person, ego, how their ego sees the connection in the future. Pile three's person, ego, connection in the future, please, Spirit. Oh. Princess of Cups, Page of Cups. Pile three, shadow, pile three person's shadow, connection in the future. Pile three's person's shadow, connection in the future, please, Spirit. Pile three's person's shadow king of swords yeah page of knight of wands on the back all right my pile number threes so your ego sees this connection of, of, of retreating sees this connection of retreating but what the shadow sees it as with the re, with the judgment in reverse this is very interesting here because your shadow sees this connection in the future as, as something that wasn't fulfilled. It's almost like prompting not to walk away, like to work something out or something in this regard. For, with judgment in reverse, that's not answering the call. That's not, that's, that's not doing something you're supposed to. That's not honoring a decision. There's something here where you are maybe not supposed to turn away from this person, take it where it resonates. I don't know. I don't know if there's lessons to be learned here that didn't get learned and that are in, you know, in danger of being learned again somewhere down the line. But with the judgment in reverse as your shadow self seeing this connection in the future, it should be in the upright. With all the way that all the energy has flowed so far through this read for you, pile three, for this last card, for judgment to be in reverse, it, it just doesn't fit well. It feels like it all will just come back full circle again somehow, some way. It really does. It feels like if you there's something missing here that you're not getting, there's some kind of message that you're not getting through possibly healing yourself. If you don't heal yourself, you're going to repeat or you, something in this regard. If it's not this connection, it'll be another connection that didn't go so hot. Um, you have to learn a, a lesson here, Pile 3. Whatever through this connection is, you need to learn it so we can put the judgment in the upright because you see yourself as transforming, but your shadow needs you to really do the work on yourself because your ego can say you're ascended and you've blocked and you've healed and you've done this and all that and you're reborn. But your shadow, who at, knows if you've done the work, who you know is literally the target of the works, you know, of quote unquote, the work that needs to be done, and by you just pulling out, there's something about the, there's a shadow aspect in this connection that you're missing. And if you do not list, if you do not get it, you're going to repeat it in some way or form. I am sorry, you just are. And I feel like it's not going to be with this person. I feel like it'll be another karmic connection or another connection that was um, meant to learn lessons. You know, karmic connections are lessons. They're great teachers. So if there's something in this connection that if you don't get it, if you don't get it, you're going to, you're going to repeat you're going to repeat whatever it is so that way you can actually have death and rebirth and judgment upright. Your person's guarded from you. They're a page of cups in reverse and then their shadow self is the king of swords. Like 
I don't know what you did pile three to, to your person, but they see shit as hella drama. They're very analytical and really turned off in the future by you. I feel like they've accepted the decision of this walking away and um, why they had to put up boundaries. I don't know what you did to your person, Pile 3, but you did something to them. I swear to goodness, for them to be so blocked and very in their head, very in, very in their masculine thinking, um, no emotion at all, uh, very blocked from emotion. Um, I think you may have hurt this person. Um, I don't know what you did, Pile Pile 3. I don't know if you play with this person's emotions. I don't know. With this Knight of Wands here, it makes me think you might. So... Um, do some learning uh, and healing on yourself, Pile 3, so you can make sure that this future, this connection, whatever future connections you have, you have judgment in the upright, which is accepting the call to spirit, you know, accepting things as they are, answering the call, all that stuff, um, because you are going to be on repeat. There's something in this connection that you need to do some shadow work on. Oof, that was heavy. I am so sorry, Pile 3, but fuck, that was the message, yo. What do you want me to do? I can only do what I'm supposed to do. All right, so moving on. We're going to get um, some further guidance here with some Nature's Whispers. I'm going to get a Nature's Whispers for, one Nature's Whispers for you and one Nature's Whispers for your person. And I get intuitive guided messages from the, the pictures and stuff. It's really pretty. Okay, Spirit. Please tap me into the collective of pile number three, please, Spirit. I need pile number three. I please get one nature's whispers for them and one for pile three person. Please and thank you. Alright, let's see here. Pile number three. One card for pile number three, please start. One card for pile number three. Be your best self always. Number 24. Pile number three. Can I get a card for their person? Thank you, sir. Oh, acceptance of love, number 38. Okay, a lot of tree imagery here. Your person's just trying to get grounded and make heads and tails. I don't know what you did on them, pile number three, but they they're accepting things the way they are. All right, no, let me let me let me back it up. Let me back it up. All right, pile number three. You are deep in emotion. You are doing your best you can to get guidance in your emotion. Like you are swimming, swimming, swimming in emotion, very much so. But what you really don't understand, or what maybe you fail to realize, or whatever, you may not, I don't know. You have, you have a spirit team here guiding behind you, right? Where it feels like you have people in, in, in the behind you, and you have a school of people in front of you, and guides, and all that, really available to you. So really tap into them, ask them for guidance, especially your spirit guides up here. So I feel like these are really, these people behind you, these fish, they're not people, they're fish. These fish behind you are all your people in the 3d really cheering you on you have a support system in either direction i really feel that strongly you have a strong support support system here in the 3d and i feel you have a very strong support system in the um in the you know spirit world spirit guides all that stuff angels you know ancestors all that stuff take it where it resonates you need to be your best self always is essentially i take this really much as really getting a handle of your emotions right because i feel like you are just like swimming in emotion you're deep in emotion and you're just trying to figure it out like this girl is really just trying to look to the heavens for the best guided answer because she's deep in emotion deep 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 in emotion and you're really just trying to do the best you can you you really are you're really trying your person <laughs> i don't know what you did to them pile three but i feel like they wanted nothing more than to really love you like honestly i really do and I think that they just have to accept that you're going through whatever you're going through and if, you know, what's meant to be will be. But I really feel that you are pushing this person away, um, you know, with whatever you're doing, you know, it's, you're pushing this person away. It's almost like you're pushing them away from self-defense, um, you know, but this person is, is very grounded. You know, they're just, they, they want to love you, but you're, it feels like you're running from them, but they want to love you. Uh, so it's just really ironic, you know, but just know that it was real. This connection did seem very real in the 3D, very grounded in the 3D. So if you thought this person played games on you or whatever, um, they really, 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 really had roots sunk down deep. And they love you. They love you still. Love is, is something that doesn't just go away, you know, infatuation. 
lust, that goes away. Love, that never goes away. All right, Spirit, can we go ahead and tap me in? Let's get a unicorn for pile number three. Pile number three, please, Spirit. Can I please get a unicorn for pile number three? I get one unicorn for them and one unicorn for their person. Okay. Pile number three, please. One unicorn for them. Thank you, Spirit. Abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Can I please get a unicorn for pile number three's person? Pile number three's person. Pile number three's person. Thank you, sir. Celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Okay. So I feel pile number three. I think you need to really just step, stop and smell the roses. I think you're trying to do so much work on yourself, trying to ascend, trying to clear blocks, trying to transform, trying to be someone new and different, but you're, you're missing out on life. You're missing out, you know, on all the small bounty of, I mean, all the big bounties there are in life, like just literally taking a walk in nature and, and getting just, you know, your breath taken away by a scenery, you know what I mean? Like those are blessings that, that time and money cannot buy. Like. I know time's that seems like a funny expression, but you know, take it or resonate or don't. Um, your person, they just want to celebrate, right? They they really, it feels like they're, I don't feel like you guys are going to be together. I am so sorry. This unicorn is faced that way and they want to celebrate. I feel that this person has love for you. I think they that the love for you was really real, but I feel like there's something in this connection that you needed to heal and learn and maybe if you really if you really love this person in turn and you really want this connect if you want to work on this connection um you gotta you gotta do some shadow work on yourself and maybe wonder ask like why do you do the things you do you know what i mean like really introspect right why do you come in and out you know fiery and passionately and you know maybe just to leave again you know what's this what is this this what's what are your triggers you know because I feel like you're just missing out on so much abundance that's in your everyday life because you're you're just looking right over it. You're you're missing it. <sighs> All right, pile three. Let's see here. Let me get. Let's get a dragon for you. Spirit, can we please get a dragon for pile number three? Pile number three. And I'm not trying to beat you up, pile three, but I just I gotta keep that shit real. You know what I mean? Like I use three, four. I'm doing four piles. I'm doing four different tarot decks. So I mean. It's, this is this deck's being used only for you. It, I don't know why the fuck I said that, but I keep that shit real. Pile three is what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right. So can I please get a dragon for pile number three? One for them and one for their person, please. One dragon for them. One dragon for pile number three. One dragon, please, for pile number three. Oh, thank you, spirit. Magenta dragon. Can I please get a dragon for pile number three's person? Can I please get a magenta, oops, a dragon for pile number three's person? Pile number three's person, please, sir. Oh, shit. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. I feel like this will be a dragon for both of y'all. All right, uh, pile number three, your, dra your dragon. Magenta dragon. Enable you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. Your death and rebirth. Like, you're wanting this so freaking bad. But there's something that's blocking you. You have past blocks and past hurts that you need to heal and let go so you can ascend. Because these, these things that you're holding on to is keeping you stuck. Pile number three, your person, fire and water dragon, enables you enables, enables your life to flow with loving force. Prepare for change and move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected, have fun. I feel like your connection got real heavy, pile number three. I feel like your person definitely got tired of um, whatever you did on them. I don't know what it was. Seems maybe some drama, I don't know, but they got tired of it. They kind of just want to celebrate, have fun, and let loose. 
um, because I think this connection got really, really heavy. They, this, your person still has very much love for you. They, they don't, they do. They really much do. But it got too heavy. There's something on this that got way too heavy. Blue dragon from the Pleiades prepares you to accept source healing. Accept a heart, accept a heart activation. Give and receive heart healing. I think this is something that, that both of you guys might. Again, this is the dragon for both of you. So the Pleiades, you know, that star brothers and sisters, you know, that accept source healing. Like they could very well be trying to heal this connection or heal yourself, pile three, because you're in danger of repeating some shit all over again. I gotta tell you the truth. By you not doing any shadow work on this connection, not learning any lessons, not really dissecting this, it's going to cause a repeat cycle. It, and probably not with this person. It's probably going to be a whole new person, to be honest with you, because this person's guarded as fuck towards you in the future. So take it where it resonates. If you want this person, change it. Change it now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into some uh, romance angels for you. Pile number three. Let's get some romance angels. I don't know what you did to your person, pile number three, but you did a number, it feels. This person's very guarded, and they've just accepted the decision, and begrudgingly it feels you know but it is what it is you can't make someone love you so i think that's kind of where they're at all right file three even though if you do love them they feel that they can't make you love them so you know all right pile three Pile three. Can I please get a some romance angels for pile number three? Please tap me into pile number three. Can get some romance angels for them, please. Some romance angels for them. Three cards, please. Can I get three cards for pile number three's connection? Thank you. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to rem fun, fun to shine. So yeah, I think this connection just got way too heavy way too heavy make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take i i feel like you guys could really use a date night you know a date excursion is really what it feels like i, I some fun needs to be breathed back into this connection some playfulness needs to happen some inner child connectivity needs to happen go fucking color together uh, i don't know if i can watch you know a disney movie together i don't know but i feel like by by making by tapping into your inner child, healing some of those inner child wounds, I feel like from you, really pile three, really doing some work on yourself, you know, this person won't be so guarded. If, if you heal whatever these, you know, reoccurring current patterns that you are exuding, once you, you find them, heal them, you know, this, 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 this commitment could possibly come to higher level commitment, you know, or this connection could very well ascend to a higher location but i feel it pile number three you really got to do the work on yourself i feel like this is something that your person cannot do for you and it's not anything that had anything that they should have done i feel like they loved you very much so but they had to you, they had to accept things as they were there's something that went on that, that left them with a bad taste in their mouth that had to you know put boundaries up so you had to walk away i mean there's some shit happened it needs to be lightened up and if so, if you guys do the work, it could ascend. It could ascend. Why the fuck not, right? All right. There's that. All right. Let's get some lover's oracles for you. My pile number threes. All right, Spirit. Can I please get some lover's oracles? Now, these cards are a bitch to shuffle because they are heart-shaped. Yeah, we want to see you shuffle some heart-shaped cards. I actually got pretty good at it, I like to think. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Pile number three, Spirit. Can I please get tapped into the collective of pile number three and get some hearts for them? Can I get one oracle for them and one oracle for their person? Please and thank you. All right, let's get one oracle for pile number three. Pile number three, please, Spirit. Can I get a card for pile number three? Pile number three, please, Spirit. There's one. Can I please get a card for pile number three's person? Pile number three's person, please, Spirit. Can I get a card for pile number three's person? All oh, right, how funny is that? Okay. All right, pile number three. There's your lover's oracle. Very, but look at all the trees imagery. It's very lot, a lot of trees. A lot of trees. This, this connection could very well have meant to be grounded. 
wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yeah, so I think there's some there's there's something here, Pile 3, that you need to really work on internally. I know everyone doesn't want to fucking hear that shit because shadow work sucks ass. But that's the truth of it. Look at there's a lot of shadow aspect here. Look at how dark this these this card is. And look at your person's nature's whispers, how green and just I mean, even their two of swords card is green, you know, like they're just they really wanted to ground this connection, but there's something, Pile 3, that you need to dig deep on. Really dig deep on. And, and find out why you are triggered the way you are. Something like that, Pile 3. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. It just don't speed your acceleration so fast. Um, heal these wounds. Take your time on healing these blocks and these wounds. Your person. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. The connection was heavy. I mean, your person, I mean, they want to be free. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what you did to them, Pile 3, but you put a heaviness on this person like I've never felt. Um, it's, it's, it's heavy. It's just really, really fucking heavy. Um, that's all I can tell you. They, they want the lightness. They want the freedom. They want, they want to love you and they want you to love them. But there's something that's not quite right about it. There's something that's not quite right about it. Right? They love you, but they love themselves too. So unless you can treat them as, you know, as they want to be treated, they will hold boundaries. They will, you know, maybe act out in low vibration when they, you know, feel cornered or something. I don't know. Oh, snap. All right, Pile 3, do some shadow work on yourself. I'm not saying your person's perfect. None of them are, but it really feels like if you're wanting a death and rebirth and you want to ascend and, you know, transform and be a new person, that takes work on yourself so you can have that judgment card in the upright. All right, so do that. Change this shit now. That's a future energy. You can change it now. You can change that trajectory now. All right, my pile three, that's all I have for you. Until next time, peace, love, and light. If this, can, if this video helped you in any which way, I'd, you know, throw me a thumbs up if you feel so called, subscribe. And um, as we get this party started. All right, much love and light to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey there, pile three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the blue appetite heart with the uh, light seers tarot, this is your reading. All right, did I say pile three? This is pile four. If I said pile three, I'm so sorry. This is pile four, blue appetite heart, light seers tarot. All right, this is only my second pick a card read, so bear with me as I learn. <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. I'm what? If I said pile three, I'm so sorry. It's pile four. All right, let's go ahead and get started, my dearest pile four. So I'll explain real quick in case you sk skipped the intro. What we're looking at, we're looking at your ego and shadow selves, you versus them. So the, there'll be four different aspects. The first aspect is going to be how your ego sees you, how your shadow sees you, and then vice versa, you know, for them. Then below would be how your ego sees your person, how your shadow sees your person. And again, likewise, the third aspect is going to be how your ego sees this connection currently, how your shadow sees this connection currently. And again, likewise. And lastly will be how your ego sees this connection in the future and then how your shadow sees this connection in the future. So that'll be the last aspect and then we'll get in and finish it off with some oracle cards, okay? All right, pile number four. I'm gonna say it again, four, four, four. <laughs> pile number four. All right, my dearest pile number four. We're going to ask our most precious beloved nearest to our hearts, our precious Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me and pile four. As we go to the highest white light for spiritual guidance, please and thank you so much, my dearest Archangel Michael. Then we're going to go ahead and ask our dearest angels, the ascended masters, our ancestors of the highest white light, and our star brothers and sisters near and far for a guided message for group number four. Please, Spirit, can you please tap me into the collective of group number four? Please and thank you. All right, let's get in it, guys. Group number four. How your ego sees you. All right, Spirit, can we please get one card for how group number four ego sees themselves? How does group number four 
ego see themselves. Four of Wands, see yourself as very stable, secure, grounded, happy. Oh, that was all over the place. Sorry, guys. All right, all right, all right. Spirit, can I please see, get one card for group number four's shadow. How does group number four's shadow see themselves? How does group number four's shadow see themselves? Group number four's shadow, please, Spirit. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. Group number four's person. How does group number four's person's ego see themselves? How does group number four's person's ego see themselves? Six of Cups in reverse. How does group number four's shadow, person's shadow see themselves? How does group number four's person's shadow see themselves? Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so, collective, I feel like this, definitely, I feel like yin, yin, yang, negative and positive energy, like, I feel you, collective, <laughs> pile number four, pile number four, I feel that you see yourself as very grounded, stable, secure, happy, like, you, you need for nothing, you know what I mean, like, you are just, you're well-rounded in all shapes and forms, and your shadow self really sees you as, sees, sees you as someone that does not give up someone that will strive to reach, to reach that four of wands, someone that will not accept anything but four of wands, a grounded, stable, happy home environment, you know what I mean, like, just well-rounded, just, you know, very, very happy, like, your shadow will not give up until that is achieved, You're, you will not give up on yourself until that is achieved, you are a warrior, it very much feels like it, pile number four. Okay, pile number four, your person, on the other hand, they very much feels like they have a doom and gloom energy about them. Um, they feel very depressed. Uh, with the six and the ten of cups, um, you know, that's that's emotions. Cups are emotions. You know, they, they, I feel like if you guys are, if you're in separation, they definitely miss you. They definitely think about you constantly. Constantly, constantly, constantly. And their shadow aspects with the Ten of Cups, they see themselves, their shadow, as just, comp you know, Ten of Cups in reverse. It's just complete, uh, like, there's, they only see gray. And they miss you. Wow. Let's move on. Pile number four. How does your ego see your person? How does your ego see your person, pile number four? How does your ego see them? How does your ego see your person? Please tap me into four. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oof. How does pile number four's shadow see their person? How does pile number four's shadow see their person? Death and rebirth. How does pile number four? How does pile number four's person's ego see them? See pile four. How does pile number four's person see pile number four? Ace of cups. Lots of emotion. How does pile four's person's shadow see number number four? Queen of wands in reverse. Okay. So interesting. So interesting. Okay, pile number four. You see, quite frankly, and I, I'm, I'm going to be very blunt here, quite frankly, you feel, you see your other person as a weaker link, a weak link. You feel that they're, they're codependent, that they are unable to provide for themselves, that they can't stand on their own two feet. Um, it, yeah, that's how your ego sees them. Like, it, it, it's, it's really kind of mean, to be honest, like, like, I don't know, guys, I, I, the energy I felt with it, it was just, I felt like you're just like, not disgusted, but just over it. Your shadow sees this as like, as your person that they need to transform. They need to have a rebirth to, to be with you. Cause I feel like you have a drive and a fire and a passion in you to no matter what the fuck happens to achieve this four of wands life that you want. Right. And you won't stop until you get it where your person, you, 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 that's what they need. You feel like they need to go. Your shadow 
sees them needing a fucking death and rebirth, a transformation, so they can, you know, your ego sees them as codependent and not able to provide for themselves, not, not a strong character, you know? They, on the other hand, is this is really weird, their ego sees you as the Ace of Cups. They see you as the Holy Grail. They, they miss you greatly. They think you are emotional fulfillment that was handed from the divine. But their shadow sees you as a Queen of Wands in reverse. A Queen of Wands in reverse is a, not a very good energy. A Queen of Wands in reverse could be someone who is very jealous. A Queen of Wands in reverse could be a hoe. A Queen of Wands in reverse um, could be very um, drama-filled. Um, so take that where it resonates and how it fits to you. But that's how their shadow sees you. So I feel maybe with how much love they have for you, I, I feel like it's, you might just be a little drama for them. Because I feel like you won't accept anything but the best. You will keep trying and trying and trying to achieve the outcome in which you desire. You will not stop until you do. You know this person is not like that. They don't have the drive that you do. And you know that they need to, to be able to be with you. So I feel like you just don't give this person any, any slack. Like you hold them to a line and if they don't come to the line, then they out. It's, it's that fucking cut and dry. It's what it feels like. All right, let's go to the next level. How your ego sees this connection currently. How does pile four's ego see this connection currently, please, sir? How do pile four's ego currently see this connection? How do they see the connection currently, please? How does pile four's see this connection currently? Eight of Wands. How does Pile Four's shadow see this connection currently? How does Pile Four's shadow see this connection currently? How does Pile Four's shadow see this connection currently, please, sir? Five of Wands. A lot of drama. How does Pile Four's person's ego see this connection currently? How does Pile Four's ego, person's ego, see this connection currently? How does the art ego see the connection currently? Please and thank you, sir. Oh, shit. King of Cups. How does Pile Four's person shadow feel about this connection currently? How does Pile Four's shadow the moon? very emotional pile number four your person is very emotional very emotional okay so pile number four you feel this connection is is moving like come hell or high water it's moving forward like there's there's no stopping you with this page of wands and you're in reverse like you are just a go-getter with it being in reverse like if an outcome didn't come the way you thought then you're back to the drawing board to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve really does right you're not striking out trying to figure it out like you are like back at it the five of wands here that's all about competition chaos fussing and fighting all this shit your shadow sees all this drama your drum your your shadow knows it's drama the eight of wands here it's like it, it's like fast moving it's like you just you're not letting up you're not letting this person they have any excuses is what it is this person has a lot of emotion for you they have the king of cups here with the moon that's strong pisces energy it's strong strong pisces energy <sighs> their shadow self sees this connection as the moon and their ego sees this connection as a king of cups. This person knows there's lots of love. And it's like they're holding out. They want to see more emotion from you is what it is. They're hoping to see more emotion from you. They're hoping to see you soften up a little bit. Because I feel like you might be a little bit of a hard ass to be honest with you. I don't know. It just, it just feels like you do not make excuses for your life. So therefore others should not make excuses either. I mean I respect it. You're probably a boss bitch or man. You know take it where resonate. Um. But this person that you're with is a very sensitive soul. They have a lot of water in their chart. A lot of water. Everything is water, but how they their shadow views you. Everything else is water. This person is very, very emotional. They can be very, very sensitive. 
and I think your go getedness your fiery attitude, your fiery personality, your, you know, no holds bar, like, grab life by the fucking, you know, cojones attitude, I think it throws them off because they are a more, more sensitive soul, and I think they want to see more emotions from you. Um, deep down, they really want to be able to look into, into your feminine, you know, your, your femininity. The moon is all about feminine energy. You know what I mean? They really want to see you more emotional, you know, because they have a lot of love for you, for real. They have a lot of emotions for you, but I feel like you are not letting this person express their emotions the way that, that they want. I think they have a lot, a lot of, lot, lot of something to express or say or something, a lot of emotions, and I don't feel that you're giving them the time of day to really be themselves. Pile number four, can I please, let's go to the next level. Um, pile number four, how your ego sees this connection in the future. How does Pile 4 Ego see this connection in the future? How does Pile 4 Ego see this connection in the future, please, Spirit? Pile number 4 is Ego. How does, where, how does, how does Pile number 4 is Ego? I don't want to take that. I don't like it when that happens. Can I get Pile number 4 is Ego? Pile number 4 is Ego, please, Spirit. How do they see this connection in the future? One card, please. One card for Pile 4 is Ego in the future. Number four is ego. One card, please, spirit. One card, please. Wow. So, okay, guys. Six of lovers in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. With a seven of wands in reverse. I feel like pile number four. I feel that you're going to chop. No, let me get your persons before I speak. Let's get. Pile number four. Can I get pile number four's person, how their ego sees this connection in the future, please, Spirit? Can I please see pile number four's connection in the future? Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles. Can I please get pile number four's uh, person's shadow, how they, how their shadow sees the connection in the future, please? Pile four's person's shadow, how they see the connection in the future, please, Spirit? Can I get one card? One card for pile number four's person's shadow connection in the future, please? Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. And then it cups in reverse and back. Okay. Pile number four. I feel like you're not going to give this person the time of day. You're not going to give them the attention or even really stick around. I feel like if, if this spark isn't enough for you, if if they're not measuring up to what you just, you need in a person, I, you're going to cut them loose. I feel like, you know, it, it, you, that's what it honestly feels like. It was like, you're not even going to try to work this out. You're just going to be like, all right, we tried. It didn't work, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're, you're not what I need. But I feel like your shadow self is kind of like, like, hey, maybe you should pump the brakes a little bit because you've got a lot of fire in your, in your chart somewhere. You have lots of fire in here. You are a dynamo. Like, you are a beast, you know, in life. And I think your person here is not so much and it throws them off. It maybe make them feel insecure because you are so gung-ho where they are more, you know, reflective and in their emotions and needing, you know, more of an emotional tie where you want that spark, that spire, that, that passion, that charisma, that, that pow, that boom, boom, pow, where they maybe want, you know, this more slower aspect of things with the Knight of Pentacles. They haven't given up on you with the Knight of Pentacles. They still hold on to you. The, whoever this person is, pile number four, this person still holds on to this connection. Very much so with the Six of Cups in reverse. They see you as Ace of Cups. They have love for you. They're not going nowhere. They're parked with that horse. Like, this person's not even on the horse. This knight isn't even on his horse. He is walking barefoot, being grounded in the earth, just, you know going slow as hell <laughs> this person feels like we'll wait fucking until the end of time for you to come back and as they're waiting for you because you've done left them in the dust their shadow side is saying that this connection is done it's ace of wands in reverse there's no hope here buddy but it, this person has such love for you i don't know what special tricks you did for them but they um are not wanting to let you go at all they, they they're so sad without you uh, but in the future, their shadow is going to tell them that the, the fire has died out, buddy. Um, it's definitely, it feels very one-sided. It feels like there's a lot of passion and fire here, and there's a lot of watery emotion here. You know what I mean? And those things don't necessarily jive. You know, opposites attract kind of thing, you know? 
Take it where it resonates. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get on it with the nature's whispers. All right, I feel a power for that your person will wait forever despite the their fucking advice to themselves they that you have a hold on them pile for hold on them so crazy but i feel like you're not even entertaining this connection i feel like this connection isn't living up to what you need it to be i feel like this person just it, i feel like this person just can't match up to your zest for life is what it feels like they they just they can't keep up they won't work you know you're you're a bird they're a fish you're meant to fly, they're meant to swim, like, you're gonna soar and you're gonna move on, they're gonna stay in the waters and swim, like, that's just the way it is, you know, say la vie, as long as it was fun and no hurt feelings, but I feel like they'll, they'll always be waiting for you, pile number four, all right, can I get one nature's whispers for pile number four, can I get one for them and one for their person, one for pile number four, pile number four, ooh, celebrate differences, did I know bullshit just said fucking opposites attract? Oh, holy fuck. Look how I said that they swim and you fly. You're a unicorn. They're a dolphin. Oh, my God. How fucking synchronistic is that, right? Look, flying fish. Flying motherfucking fish. Look at that shit. Holy hell. So maybe you guys might be able to make this work. I don't know. I feel that maybe you've had past lives, you know, possibly in Atlantean times. You know, maybe that's why you, how your connection came together is because it's familiar. You guys have known each other from past lives. Um, it's so interesting. So interesting. Celebrate differences. So, you know, just because this dolphin can't fly doesn't make them any less important or valuable, right? Because they can swim to depths where this unicorn can't. This unicorn can't hold their breath like this dolphin can. You know what I mean? Celebrate the differences. Like there's an infinity sign here. Oh, how cool is that? Can I get a nature's card for their person? Pile number four person, please. Pile number four person, please. Thank you, Spirit. New experiences and possibilities, number 18. So I just, I truly feel that they're forever going to wait for you. I really do. I think they're waiting for new experiences and the possibilities to happen. Um, <laughs> yes, because see how this is a big old tree, right? But this tree is like fixated, like it's a, it's an ornament, like it's a piece of decoration, you know what I mean? Like it's a fucking piece of furniture, right? Sitting on a table and there's a little butterfly here, just like, you know, blue waiting to transform or whatever, meaning transformation. But this person, unless they do the work or not do the work so much, because I don't think that's it. I just think that they have to step, maybe because you see them as, as codependent and, you know, needing to transform. So take it where it resonates with this person, I feel, is really holding on to a dream, you know, of you. And uh, they're not letting you go. They have you set like a, a fixture, like a piece of furniture. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see here. Oh, we got shuffle. Can I please get a unicorn, please, spirit, for our pile number fours? Pile number four. Pile number four. Let's get a unicorn. Pile number four. All right. Let's see here. What a mixed bag of energy. For pile number four, I feel like you're just a hard ass, you know? And this person just might be a little too soft for you. <laughs> oh, shit. We'll do one more shuffle on that. <laughs> I fucking love synchronicity, like, how that came out. Like, I love it when, like, no bullshit, something I say, like, literally pops out onto a card. Like, any reader can, you know, verify that. It just feels so good. Like, yes, I knew it. <laughs> can I get a unicorn for pile number four? One for them and one for their person. One for them. One for their person, please. Thank you, spirit. All right. So, okay, flow. Find an easier path forward. Surrender to the outcome. Release your expectations. Like, precisely. Pile number four, you need to release your expectations of your person. They are who they are. If And you have you accept them or you don't. 
You know what I mean? And I feel like you're not going to accept them in the future. It shows that you're not going to give them any attention on that because they're not cut. You know, they're not being what you need them to be, and that's okay too. You know what I mean? But as long as you keep it real and don't, you know, don't like breadcrumb people and, or give them false hope. As long as you keep it real, which I think you're the kind of person that would that wouldn't sugarcoat shit. You know, just flow with it. Surrender the outcome. So, just know that if this person isn't meant for you, they're not meant for you. And everything will be as it should. So, just flow with it. Don't try to control it. And you're a person. Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. So, I think with all this heartbreak, they very well may tuck tail and run to try to, you know... Because I think you... I, I think that they'll always wait for you because they have so much love for you. But... They need to kind of lighten up a little bit, you know. They need to have some adventure. Maybe, you know, they, they need to have some adventure because that's what calls to you. So maybe if they were a little more adventurous, that's something that you could have in common, you know, have outings or whatever. Make it, you know, exciting, not be so heavy emotionally, you know what I mean? Like have some lightheartedness, you know, banter, shit like that, you know. Um, and you just need to flow. So <laughs> there it is. Let's get you some dragons, huh? All right. Bear it. Can we please get pile four? Can we please get a dragon for them and a dragon for their person? Can I please get one dragon for pile number four and one dragon for pile number four's person? Please and thank you, Spirit. One, two, three, four. Dragons. One dragon for pile number four, please, Spirit. One dragon for pile number four. There she is. One dragon for pile number four's person, please, Spirit. Can I get one dragon for pile number four's person? Please and thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Number four's person. All right. Okay. Let's see here. You, pile number four. Dark blue galactic dragon. Help helps listen to your voice of the universe. Ignite the codes of your master blueprint. Access com cosmic wisdom and enter higher service. Oh, that's beautiful. Like you're a star seed. You know what I mean? Like legit. Like there's all like this trail of stars here. And those little dragons, like, collecting them. Like, you're no bullshit a star seed. And I think you just need to flow and just accept and be more, a little more compassionate to this person. If you don't, if the feelings aren't there for them, if they can't be who you need, that's totally okay. You're not wrong. Just, you know, keep it clean. That's all I can say, pile number four. Keep it clean. Just don't bullshit because this person has some deep emotion for you. So if you don't feel it, you need to let them go. All right, and then they, number, your person, pile number four, golden orange dragon, expands your light for ascension. Be a peaceful, be a peaceful warrior. Help those in need remember your magnificence. This person needs more confidence in themselves. I think they really need to do some shadow work themselves, man. That's been, like, going around. Everyone needs to fucking do shadow work. I'm in the middle of doing shadow work. It's just part of life. Um, but you're, they need to really write down their emotions. I feel like they have a lot of emotions, and I think it's kind of getting jumbled and shit. I think they need to organize their emotions a little more because they are very, very, very deep in their emotion and um, it could really help them get organized and at least understand their feelings towards you because um, I feel like they're a little confused at the present time. The present time. All right, let's go ahead and get some romance angels on it. All right, my dearest pile four. You have a very strong energy. There's no denying that. Um, you're not a quitter. You're not a quitter, Pile 4. That's for sure. You just don't want to waste your time, is what it is. You don't want to waste any time. And I respect it, you know? Just be a fun with it. Alright, Pile 4. Let's go ahead and get some romance for you. Romance for Pile Number 4, please, Spirit. Romance for Pile Number 4. Pile Number 4. One, two or three, please, Spirit. There's one. Soulmate. Ooh, there's two. Oh, goodness. I think this is very much an opposites attract situation. <laughs> There's going to be some good learning in that. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, attraction. Oh, my God. And this one fell out on the floor. Give your relationship a chance. So spirit does not want to see this relationship for you just to walk away so easily. I think spirit really wants to help you push this person to, out of their emotions into actually taking action in their life, right? Because you have a lot of action 
this person can learn from you. This is more than likely this was a, a soulmate in some capacity. We all have very many soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. Is this the one you're meant to, to hang out your hat up with at the end of the day? We never know, you know what I mean? But maybe there's a lesson, a major life lesson in this connection, whether if it's meant for good or whatever, nothing goes in vain as long as lessons are learned. So I think that this person came to your life for a very specific reason, either to help for you to help them or them to help you, maybe to merge both your aspects together, right? While you're very passionate and action taking and they're very reflective and watery, I think you can probably both learn from each other, you know what I mean? Um, that's I really feel like this is an opposite to track situation romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so I think your ego it just kind of like eats this person up like I think you make some snatch judgments on this person and I don't think it's necessarily quite fair or accurate um, but you have these romantic feelings as pull towards this person even though you are opposites it's for a very divine reason so listen do the work on it attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so again i think there's something that you both are going to be learning from each other maybe for you to slow down and be more reflective and for them to you know light a fire into their ass and you know get moving in life you know who's to say i mean you take it where it resonates everybody could you know situation is is unique to their own give your relationship a chance work on your partnership there's, there's something here that Spirit doesn't want you just... He wants you to learn it. He wants you to learn I think I, I truly feel that you are here to really help this person understand emotions. Or not understand emotions. That's not right. To get a zest for life. And I feel that this person is here to help you understand emotions. And it's beautiful. It's these two aspects coming together. Um, yeah, I think it's neat, man. This 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 oracle card right here sums up the whole damn reading straight through and through. Like I couldn't have asked for a better oracle card to pop out to explain what I was trying to say. Alright. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't have done it if I tried. Alright, so let's get the last card here, which is the lover's oracle, and then I'll let you beautiful pile number fools go. Alright. So these are heart-shaped cards. I don't know if anyone, if any of you have shuffled heart-shaped cards. It's not the easiest of, uh, thing to do, but we do the best we can, right? Oh, the best we can. <laughs> and it's a rough shuffle, but I promise you, this shit it looks like it's harder than it looks. <laughs> All right, collective. Let's see here. Ah, there we go, pile number four. That's the best you're going to get from me. <laughs> Spirit, can we please get a lover's oracle for pile number four? Let me get one for them. I feel like that's both yours. Can I get one for their person, please, now? One for their person. One for pile number four's person, please. One for pile number four's person. One for pile, thank you, Spirit. All right, okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, pile number four. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's definitely listening into your intuition. The, the pink butterflies here. Like, you know, you already know what to do. You already know what to do, pile number four. Sacred union. Honor the treasure. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is sacred. I truly feel that this connection, like at all the water here, all this water, this... This person's meant to help you to deal with your emotions, and you're meant to help this person get some zest and action for life. And this is your person's oracle. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transforms, transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Like, again, if you guys aren't together, they're not going anywhere. Knight of Pentacles, they, they, despite their intuition despite what their shadow is telling them about the f connection in the future their ego still holds on I, despite what their shadow is telling them this person has a lot of love for you pile number four um so work at it if you feel so called if not just keep it clean that's all i can tell you keep it clean don't play with anyone's heads or emotions or anything like that you seem like you could be a heartbreaker but not on purpose all right, pile number four, that's all I have for you. So please, you know, give me a thumbs up if this helped you in any which way. Subscribe if you feel so called. 
Thank you so much, Pile 4, and this is all I have for you for now. Till next time, just as Jupiter out, and thank you guys so much for everything, love and light and all that stuff, and be good to one another. Check you later. Bye.